Hi guys, it's JJ again, and today I'm going to show you how to convert meshes into parts. So, I'm going to choose this, I'm going to choose this mesh, and now you press, you click this button, it will spawn a part where you can scale. You see, this is scaling smoothly, so just... So if you don't want it, so if you don't want it doing it roughly and rotating roughly, just disable these two, and then they'll rotate and move more smoothly. So you get your mesh, then click the plus button next to part. Type in mesh and then click special mesh. And then you go to your mesh, click, click the mesh ID. Pre okay, so you hold the control key on your on your keyboard and then click C. And then you copy it, and then you copy the mesh ID onto here. And as you see, it it's this it's the same shape as your mesh. So we go back here and get the texture ID from here. Again, press. You can just click. You can just right click it with your mouse, and then press. Control C if you like, and then you either you either click Control V or you either click Paste or use the hotkey, and there they look exactly the same, and that's how to convert a mesh into a part. So we can delete the mesh now. And there you go. So if you want to make edits into your mesh, like scaling it, feel free. I mean, I'm not forcing you to. I'm going to hold the shift key and then scale it down. There. Now your mesh is completely, now your mesh is completely done. I had to con- let me tell you something before I end this video. I had to convert meshes into parts because I wanted the morph to work properly. I got this I got this mesh from here. So yep. That's my video done. So what's happening to my mouse? So yeah. In Hope you like the video. And you may need to put this in some sort of playlist in case you forget it. Goodbye.